on the couch is talented actor Rory Murray, who has written and performed his first play at the Fringe. Welcome. Hi, how are you doing? Kate? Good, thanks. How are you? Very well. Very so you've well. just come from a performance right now. Yeah. How are you feeling? How did it go? Yeah, it went very well actually. I had a, a sold out audience and the, uh, the play, um, the show, is. Uh, I'm just very pleased with how it's been received. Good, so, yeah. Great. And so your show, Big Sean, Mikey and Me, mm -hmm. sounds like there's three people, but it's a one-man show, isn't it? How do you do that? Well, it's myself um, and my imaginary friend Sean Connery, oh, okay. so um, I also play <laughs> Sean Connery. Yeah. Uh, it's maybe not the best uh, impersonation of Sean Connery, do you want to but... Do a little impersonation? Good part? golly, my smaller. <laughs> But it's not um, it's not meant to be an accurate you know, impersonation. Yeah. But uh, that's part of the sort of the, the dark humour of it all. And then uh, so there's myself, Sean, and then there's my childhood pal Mikey. Yeah. Got who, a lot of imaginary friends. Yeah. Well, he Mikey was real, and he is um, he he was a, a rough diamond, and he he. Uh, uh, appears in the show as well uh, from his p prison cell right. and he talks to me from there but uh, it still it's a, it still brings dark humour to the show. Yeah. So you swap between characters like yeah. how do you like, manage to keep up with it, you know what I mean? Do you slip into um, another voice and think oh no I'm not playing him at the moment? It's, <laughs> it's no, it's, it's I'm, I have developed the show um, thoroughly with um, a, a London director uh, called Paul Robinson and we worked very hard on just distinguishing between the characters and yeah. just the kind of uh, the, the different stance for each character and just the way that each character carries himself um, so and that that's great fun in itself um, uh, and it, you know it's it's dark and it's pretty bonkers, but mm -hmm. I didn't want to do something that was you know run of the mill. Yeah, you know, difficult. Uh, so. There's a lot of that at the fringe, so you've got to try and be different. Yeah, and I think it's also it's a very personal it's a personal story as well because my friend Mikey is sadly he passed away, so um, I wanted to do something. For, he was just such a he was like a pirate, you know, he was such an amazing character. Yeah. He was a bad boy, but at the same time he had a, a, a very, he had a heart, a good heart. And he, you know, he always looked after me and my friends when we were growing yeah. up. So I just wanted to do something to, me yeah. uh, to remember him yeah. as well. And he would have loved the fact that Sean yeah. Connery's in it as well. <laughs> and the fact that you've had four star reviews so yeah. far, it's brilliant. No, that's awesome. So, yeah. so what has been your best compliment that you've had about the show? Um, I think uh, uh, the Sally Stock from uh, Scotsman was very kind with her, um, just her uh, review on the show, and uh, very she just. She obviously enjoyed it to give it four stars, but for me that was amazing. Uh, obviously coming from Edinburgh as well, and, yeah. and the Scotsman's uh, it's one of the it's the main one of the main papers in Scotland, exactly. so that was great. Uh, and I also had um, Tom Dibden from the stage came and. The word phenomenal was used, but I'm not going to get carried away. I'll keep my feet on the ground. But anything that helps me, because it's you know I'm just a small show yeah. in a big in a big uh, play, playing against the big boys. So yeah. anything that helps, I'll take it. Yeah, brilliant. And how do you prepare for a show? Do you need a few months to prepare for or get in the zone? <laughs> uh, but, but, what, the, 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 the morning before or...? No, just for like, if you know you've got the Fringe show coming up this year right. and you needed um, a lot of rehearsal. Uh, I, I like to work hard. Um, I've put, I probably, I started writing the show probably about a year and a half ago. Um, but I, at the same time, you know, I'm doing a lot of different things. Yeah, you're in a lot of film and TV kind of area. Just whatever I'm, whatever else I'm having to work on at being an actor, but yeah. uh, I did start to become very kind of focused in, um, say about um, four, three or four months ago, and myself and the director were meeting up um, a lot and just yeah. uh, um, working with the, the script and just um, developing it basically. Yeah. And so you featured in films such as Doghouse and Russell. Yeah. Who's the most influential person you've met so far? You must have come across quite a few interesting Work, people. Um, 
funnily enough, I mean, uh, what, inspiring or... Yeah. Uh, I was, I've been at the festival, I've been, uh, I was lucky enough last night to, I've been watching Sam uh, Simmons, yeah. his show. <laughs> Uh, about the weather and I got to meet him last night. Uh, I saw his show the first time last week, I saw it again last night, yeah. but the guy just blew me away. Really? It's, uh, he called, or it's called psycho comedy, the kind of stuff he does, but yeah. I just, it's, I'm already thinking about my next uh, my next job, but I mean, I've, I've worked with some, uh, 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 Dudley Scott, uh, I found him very inspiring. Uh, he's just a really good guy. Yeah. Um, and um, also, I mean, I did, I did, I mean, I, my show is about Sean Connery. I did once meet him in the street. And he only said yes and yes <laughs> uh, after me saying it was nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, but um, does he know that you're doing a show? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know him to say, hey, come No, to I mean, show. He's, he's in the Bahamas living, living up. Living the so life, he should, yeah. So he should, he's yeah. done very well I'm sure he'd himself. be very proud to know there's a tribute to him. Well, he was, he's my yeah. boy Hutiro, so um, yeah. uh, it was only going to ever be Sean Connery. But yeah. when I met him, it, it, it was very, it wasn't for long. I did, yeah. I shook his hand, and it, but I felt, I left feeling like I'd met, met God. So it was, it was awesome. That's great, and he's, yeah. yeah he's, you know, he's, he's like the king of the king that Scotland never had. So yeah, he should have. <laughs> so, what do you have on after the fringe for you? Um, well, I've I've made uh, two two short films, Russell and the, uh, the Doghouse. Uh, Russell's out at film festivals at the moment, but I'm going to make my first feature film um, in 2013, which is called Blonde, which I'll film on the Isle of Tyree. Uh, and it's, uh, it's going to be a dark sci-fi thriller, yeah. uh, quite a, a very simple storyline. So I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, now, now there's possible, there's I'm in talks at the moment about um, touring uh, Big Sean Mikey and me now uh, around Scotland. So I'm very excited about that yeah. possibility. That's brilliant. Well, best of luck with your show. Yeah. I hope cool. it goes really well. Thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Caitlin. It's been great meeting you. Nice one. If you'd like to go see me on until the 27th at the Gilded Balloon, Big Show and Mikey and me. Thank you.